Hello everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Namaste. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm back with another video. Today we will try to understand the different SIP headers that we will see when you collect the SIP debugs. So before actually and start analyzing the actual debugs, we should be understanding or we should be aware of all the SIP headers that we will see in different SIP responses and requests. So when I see responses, those are invite, cancel, ACK, register, those are SIP response, uh, uh, sorry, requests or methods. And when I say responses, those are 100 trying, 180 ringing, 200 OK, all those 1XX, 2XX, up to 6XX responses. So the most common debug that is used or that we use to see the SIP messages, the complete messages is debug C SIP messages. So this is the most common debug that we use to collect the SIP logs when we have a SIP call flow but before actually analyzing all the SIP logs where we will have all the call flow that we have learned in our previous videos we should understand all the SIP headers that you will see in all those requests and responses so I have a sample invite message a simple uh, invite is a request this is a sample invite message that I have uh, that you will also see when you collect a SIP log. So we'll we'll try to understand all the SIP headers that we are seeing here in the SIP mes uh, this invite message. All these headers invite via max forwards to from call ID all this. So let's start. This video might go longer today because we have to uh, go through all the headers one by one. So let's see. So the first header header that we will that we see here is invite. So what is the meaning of this invite header header? And this is the most important header and this is the mandatory one. So the me the information that we have in this invite header is the called party number the device that will be handling or routing the called party number SIP version the protocol and the SIP protocol version so if you see here this 1000 is the called party number device that that will be handling this call or routing this call is test.com it's a SIP protocol and the version of this SIP protocol is 2.0 right so this complete message starting from 1000 to test.com is called request URI and in a if you want to read it completely it can be read as 1000 as a called party will be handled or routed by test.com this is the complete meaning so we have four important information call party number 1000 device or the server which will handle this number is test.com SIP protocol and version is 2.0 so this is the complete meaning of the invite header let's go to via header so first of all via or via is a mandatory SIP header it should be there in all the SIP messages it's a mandatory header what does it inform us so it informs us of all the SIP devices to be included in the path of call signaling so your call might originate somewhere and till it reaches the destination it might come through lot of SIP devices or hops so it will contain the least of all those devices 
most of the time you will see only one via header but when you see multiple via headers that means there are multiple hops through which this call is coming from and those via headers will be arranged as a in a chronological order where the first via header will be of the nearest or the closest device second via header will be of the next to the closest device so suppose you have a IP phone registered on call manager and then call manager to the cube so here we have only one via header will have only one via header and that will contain the information of the call manager because before reaching the cube there is only one hop that's the call manager now suppose you have a firewall or any other SIP device between your call manager and the cube now your call flow is IP phone call manager firewall and the cube now when this invite reaches the cube it will have two via headers first via header will indicate the details or will tell you the details of the firewall next via header will sh uh, tell you the details of the call manager so before since the invite message is coming through call manager firewall and then reaching to the cube so it will have two via headers and the first via header will be of the firewall since it's closest to the cube and then next via header will be of the call manager so it will contain all the uh, SIP devices which are there in the path till it reaches the destination or from where we have collected the SIP logs max forwards max forward is also a mandatory SIP header except in info request okay now max forward tell it's 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 it shows you the number of maximum hops a invite can pass through or go through before it reaches the destination so maximum number of hops uh, is 70 so suppose you have multiple sub devices between so till it pa passes or once it's pass it passes one of the devices the max forward will decrease by one so suppose in our call flow example where you have IP phone call manager firewall and the cube so since till it reaches the cube it will show you the max forward as 69 because it already came from two of the devices when it comes from call manager to the cube it will show you 70 but when it reach, comes from call manager to firewall to the cube it will show you 69 so every time it passes one hop this max forward decreases by one it's a mandatory header two two header is also a mandatory SIP header and it shows you the destination for the SIP message this particular SIP message but this two is not used for routing if you will see this two header and invite header have the same details but only invite header will be used for the routing not to header it just shows you the destination from header from header shows you the originator of the SIP message on I mean who originated or who initiated the SIP message so if you have a call flow where you have IP phone call manager in the cube so in the cube if you collect the log you will see the originator as the IP phone so it just shows you the originator of the message as of now just leave this from tag or local tag I'll uh, make another video for from tag to tag and branch ID in the via header what are these and what are their meanings call ID is a mandatory header and it's very important for the call analysis the log analysis of SIP because this is the call ID or the identifier that we will use to mark a specific call this is the identifier that is used to mark a specific call so this is very important it's it remains unique for a particular unique for a particular call every time
our next header is C sequence number so this is also a mandatory header in a SIP message so it contains this decimal number and uh, the C sequence number usually increases by one for each new request and uh, except cancel and act actually cancel and act uh, uses the C sequence number of the invite to which it refers to so uh, else all the new request will have a new C sequence number and usually it will be a plus one of the previous sequence number in a message our next header is contact header it's a mandatory header and uh, it's actually if you see it's similar to the from but from just shows you the originator and contact is used for routing or sending the future request so since this invite will be sent to a user agent server user agent server will use this contact header to send the future responses or send the future messages to the calling party so this contact is actually used uh, to communicate bet between user agent server and user agent uh, client this header is used for send responses and requests so in case of invite uh, if you are sending if we are sending this invite to uh, uh, maybe a service provider so this service provider will use this contact header and will send us the responses or a future buy or a cancel so it will use this contact header and when a service provider responds to us with 200 ok that service provider will also include a contact header in the 200 ok message which we will which will be used by us the calling party to respond to it or send the future messages so this contact header is very important which is used for future uh, sending the future request or responses to each other from is not used for that purpose from just shows you the originator but contact is used for sending request and response to each other content type content type shows you uh, you know it's a mandatory header and it shows you the type of message it contains in the media so usually we will see SDP because SDP session description protocol is used to send and receive media parameters in SIP so I will create a separate video to explain you the SDP messages because SDP also contains a lot of messages which needs to be understand so I'll create a separate separate video for that so this content type shows you what type of message the SIP contains and usually you will see the SDP application SDP content length so content length is the expected header okay and it shows you the number of characters or messages a SDP contains now the question is what if there is no SDP so even if there is no SDP the content length will be zero it's a header that you will see in all the messages but if there is no SDP in the invite it will show you the content length as zero but if there is an SDP you will see content length greater than zero it can be any number greater than zero but if it's zero that means there is no SDP it also indicates that if content length is something greater than zero that means it has a SDP that means it's a early offer and if content length is zero that means it does not contains SDP and it's a delayed offer right so this is the importance of content length so even if there is no SDP it will show you the value as zero content length zero so these are the important headers the meaning remains the same for all other responses and requests most of them okay and uh, this is it 
so in the next video I will uh, try to explain you guys the different messages or the parameters of session description protocol because that's the important protocol SIP uses to send and receive all the media parameters in a call flow and a SIP call flow so that will be the next video uh, so guys let me know uh, if you have any questions in the comments or you can contact me on my email address and uh, or my or, or on my cell phone I'll be happy to help you guys and new I, I would request new viewers to subscribe to my channel like uh, share it with someone who might need it and uh, so uh, thank you so much guys uh, I'll try to create the next video on SDP as soon as possible uh, till then everyone stay safe uh, have a great day bye bye